the only thing that I can tell the players is uh, be brave, good mentality, and and finally, this is a sport. If you can win, perfect. If you can win, at least we have to try. No, if they are pushing in the training sessions, I repeat the training session will have more level. And if the training session has more level, finally, the team is the the benefit is for is for the team. No, I tried when I signed in Hyderabad. I tried to to know things about the city, about how is the city, about the how was the story of, of, of this new club? And uh, when you speak about ADAPT, it's not only about, uh, about football, it's, it's about everything, no? Hello, captains of our men. Welcome to yet another episode of Short Corner, where we interview footballers, managers, coaches, analysts, scouts, and even directors of different football clubs to bring the various aspects of the game closer to you. So today is a very, very special day. We have the ISL winning head coach of Hyderabad FC, Sir Manolo Marquez with us today. So sir, it's a pleasure to have you and how have you been? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure uh, to be with, with you. Yes, I am okay. Always that I am in India, I feel like it's, I, I told now is my third season here, and I say that is like my second home. No? So, sir, when I just first got the news that you are coming, I was, I, I won't lie, I was just a bit freaking out because, sir, you are one of my favorite coaches in Indian football. So, I will take this moment to just get settled down here. So, sir, a big, big thank you for being with us today. No, the reason is that I am a. Yeah, a lot of, uh, no, not a lot, but when I uh, do this kind of, of podcast interviews or or or, or another things, uh, they say, oh, how you accept this kind of things? Okay, <laughs> I accept because I am a I am a person that I am uh, here because now I am the head coach, but but in another moment I can I can need you, no? Then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and you can help me. Then why I uh, I have to to say no 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 I don't want to this kind of thing. Okay. It's true. It's true that as a head coach uh, we have a lot of work. This is true. But I think that finally this is another part of your of your job, no? To to hear the people who wants to speak with you. Uh, people are interested in. Now, in this case, in, in my opinions, uh, and, and let's see if we can uh, uh, spend a, a good moments now. So, so I'm hopeful that this session will lead all the good moments and many people can learn from you, sir, because you are such an experienced man. So it will be a pleasure to have you. So, sir, in August 2020, you signed for Hyderabad FC only a few weeks before the start of the season and you led the club to a fifth place finish which was even the big fans were not expecting so sir what were your key takeaways as a coach from your first season in charge in india Oof. was a was a curious history because uh, um, I, I want to. No, I don't want to uh, spend too much time explaining my 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 the moment that uh, I, I decided to say yes to Hyderabad. But was shortly was uh, I was in a training camp in Finland with Albert Roca. Albert Roca and me, we are friends, not family, even. <laughs> People say, oh, you are family because <laughs> Albert Roca and, and I am Marquez Roca. But Roca is a common short name in, in our city, in Barcelona, uh, the, city, the city of, of, of Albert and me. Uh, the thing is that Albert and myself studied together the license for coach 20, 21 years ago. Then... Uh, we have very good relationship. We were in a training camp with kids in Finland. And in that moment, Eric, Eric Vidal, a famous player in Barcelona, called 
Albert, eh, to be strength and conditional coach in, in Barcelona because Ronald Kuman needed uh, one uh, strength and conditional coach and Albert worked before with Avidal, with when Raikar was the coach in Barcelona with Messi, with Messi was very young. And then he told me, I will try to join in, in Barcelona. What do you think, Manolo, if you, if I tell the Hyderabad board or owner or sports director uh, your name? And my, my first thought was, Woof, in India, do you want? Even uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know nothing about Hyderabad. It's true that some of my friends played here, like uh, Jofra Mateo or... or or Arna, uh, Arnal uh, Conte, uh, Conde, uh, some, and, and I remember ISL in the beginning that was very short, only three, four months and out of the bubble, of course. Uh, and then I signed there and, and I am very happy to, to be here in India. And the second season, uh, I have to tell you that in the beginning was difficult because uh, when we arrive, it's true that the, the team, after the first season, the first season is always difficult in every team. Uh, they arrive and they um, play in the place of Pune City, Hyderabad. The first season was very bad in terms of, of, of results. And, and then the, the second season, my first season, was very good because we, we fought till the last game against FC Goa uh, and finally we finish uh, fifth. Then obviously you know how is football, how work, how football works. Then for sure the first, first year was, first season ISL uh, 7 was bad. ISL 8 was good. For sure now ISL 9 all the people uh, told me now the goal is is uh, to qualify for the for the playoffs. But ISL is true, and now and now again, the competition is very equal, and uh, practically all the teams can beat the other teams. Then, in the bubble, was totally different, uh, and and I think that finally uh, we were very. We were very strong, no? Because because every uh, I say I, I oh, another thing that that in, I think in my mind is that uh, one good you can see one good team after a defeat, and and uh, after every defeat, the team uh, came back with a with a win. Then uh, means the uh, means that the, the mentality of the team is is strong and and. And we have very, very, very good group, very good group, very mixed foreigners and mixed. Uh, the, the relationship between foreigners and Indian players are fantastic. And uh, it's, it's very easy to manage this group. And I think that the, the goal, the target was uh, to arrive to the top four. But we told this in the first meeting before uh, in, in pre-season. And that's all. I don't want to repeat, I told them, I don't want to repeat every day that our tower, our target is top four, top four, top four. And finally, we finished second in the in the regular season and, and, and we won the the playoffs and, and we are the champions now. It's true that it was a surprise, uh, but it's true that, that the team deserved... Uh, to win the, the ISL because they worked very hard. So not only a team worked hard, the team played one of the most beautiful footballs in Indian football. They just played with a different swagger and this is continuing this season. The first match was a pleasure to watch sir, against Northeast United and we hope the performance continue to build up like this. So sir, this season was a bit different from the other seasons because there was Duran Cup. Yeah. And in Duran Cup, Hyderabad reached the semi final. So, a few teams like ATK, Mohan Bagan, Mumbai City FC, and Bengaluru played the first team. And so did Hyderabad. So, how was the campaign of Duran Cup helped you prepare better for the ongoing ISL? Or did it have an impact? Yes. Uh, 
I knew perfectly the, presti the prestige of, of this tournament. I knew, I know that is the oldest uh, uh, tournament in Asia. In Asia. Uh, but for me, uh, I understand uh, Goa, Kerala, I understand because uh, last season they, they had a bad experience uh, because finally they had some injured players in, in this tournament and the conditions in Kolkata last season uh, were very bad. But I think that one competition that, that uh, were uh, in, uh, Indian football say, no, no, now uh, the, the Indian teams need to play, I don't know how many, 27 or 28 games. And then you send your B team, then for me is a... Yes, uh, a not normal competition, no? because you are... It's very difficult that one B team, even I know that Kerala, the second team, they qualify for the second round, but it's true that in that group was was a weak uh, group. Then uh, I told the owner, the director of football, okay, we will go to Durant, to the Durant Cup uh, with our main team, but will be our our precision. Even the idea, the idea was that, okay, we will play in Infal, that was wonderful, uh, because people love football, and uh, was a very good experience. We qualified, the, the, the target of the team was qualified, and then logical things were that in, semi, in quarter finals we had to play or against in the, in the group, uh, or against ATK or against uh, Mumbai City. But Rajasthan United uh, was, was a big surprise and they played very good and, and they qualified and they won ATK, Mohumbagan. And then quarterfinals, we play against Rajasthan United. Okay, we won. It was a difficult game because they played very good. We were in the middle of pre-season, uh, in, in the moment with uh, more difficult for us because we were pushing too much the, the, the players. And finally, we played against, against Bengaluru and, and we lost 1-0. Uh, but it's true that the possession uh, to keep the ball doesn't mean uh, nothing because we had 76% possession of the ball, but finally they scored one goal and, and we lost semi-finals. But in terms of uh, how was Durant Cup for our pre-season, uh, was very, very good uh, because we played finally six games uh, and, and, we, and we didn't have injuries except one player, Regan, uh, in, in these games. To be a successful team, a team needs to have a very good and a desired team culture as well. So how do, have you instilled that team culture and the habit of winning at Hyderabad FC? It's true that uh, one, one uh, condition now seems that Hyderabad play, oh, how, how you played and blah, 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 no? But I think that one quality that you have to do as a coach is to adapt, not only, not only the players, eh? It's, it's about uh, the country that you are training. Uh, yes, I have experience. I train in Spain, but in different places. I train in Croatia. I train in Thailand. And, and now I train in India. Every country is different. They have uh, different uh, cultures, different... Um, how is... Uh, they understand the football in different ways. For example, in, in, in Spain, in Spain is a religion. Football is like a religion. In Croatia, they are very young players. The good players, they try to go abroad uh, because they don't have too much money in, in, the, in the Croatian league. Thailand is very good organized, uh, well organization, the, 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 the Thai league. And here, okay, I, I, I tell every time that uh, from the first day I found a group very, very um, focused 
in the training session, in every training session, they wanted to learn uh, a lot of things. Uh, a very young squad in the in the first in the first season, and uh, there, there there is one moment the, when we play second game in ISL uh, seven against BFC in the half time. In that moment, if you remember, the team you, you you could play with five foreigners and 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 have seven in the squad, but the club decided only uh, for financial reasons, for economic, for money, for in terms of money, uh, only have uh, six foreigners. Then Franz Andaza, one center forward, he was injured from day one. Then we had five the five players who, who played in the first and second game. And in the second game, we lost in the first half Luis Sastre and Joel Kianese for Luis for two months and Joel for one, one month and a half. Then I remember in the first half, I remember to arrive in, to the dressing room in the half time and I saw the faces of, of my places, of my players because now we have to play a, a lot of games only with three foreigners. The, the very good luck was that these three foreigners, one play center back, another center midfielder, another center forward. No, it was Odei, uh, Joao Victor, and Aridane. Then I say, guys, we have now two solutions. One is say, oh, what a pity, oh, oh, we are, yes, oh, we, we, we had very bad luck. And, 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 and the other is, okay, show your quality. The quality that you show me in every training session, uh, now is your moment. Is your moment? Maybe it's the only moment that you can that you can do these kind of things in in your career. And then I remember perfectly, they uh, in in the second half we played very very good. Finally, the score was nil nil against a strong very strong team in that moment, uh, Bengaluru that. They were champions, and and uh, with the, practically with the same players, and we found a, a group of young players, no, Asish, Akash, Sana, Hitesh, Yasir, uh, Liston, uh, that and, and I forget more players, Rohidanu, uh, one group of players in the first season that was incredible then. With this kind of players, if you play only long balls and, and, and second actions, you are, you are dead. Then, with the experience of the foreigners, with the uh, football of, of Joao, uh, no, the Aridane that maybe is a, is a very important part in this project, uh, the, now the comeback of Odei, because his first season was fantastic. And I think that we are trying to to introduce a no introduce it's not introduced because a lot of coaches they try no but our style of play is more about the keep the ball and and try to pass the ball and play with good wingers and and I think that it's nice uh, to watch or to see for the spectators. Uh, but not always you can win, of, of course, no? But, uh, but I think that the only thing that I can tell the players is uh, be brave, good mentality, and, and finally, this is a sport. If you can win, perfect. If you can win, at least, we have to try, no? I have watched Indian football from 2007-8. India has a habit of playing the long ball, and it sometimes results in good football, and sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time, it doesn't. But Hyderabad, we all the fans, we who watch from our homes, from TV, do some previews, reviews. We have agreed on one thing. Hyderabad is the only team in Indian football right now to have a philosophy. They have their own principles. The players just settles into the philosophy. So how did you build it, sir? From the first season, the tactics were pretty clear. And so were the philosophy. So how did you instill that? Because it's very tough in Indian football to have a philosophy. This is the pen of the players. Uh, in in another teams, another clubs, another countries, I try to to 
to do the same thing and it's very difficult sometimes you you get but sometimes uh, you don't get no i repeat qualities of our players is to play this this kind of football if you play only long balls okay you can play only long balls but if you have one one player like sana that you can uh, start the build up from from back and you have hitesh in the half pitch that is a player who understand perfectly the game and and you have the qualities no yasir or or, or this kind of players no or or or, the, or liston colasso in that moment then uh, finally football are five things no is defense attack transitions attack defense defense attack and, and set pieces then our team we work in in everything and finally uh, i think that we got uh because it's true that 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 you are saying no it's, it's true that even we are in the bubble in isl7 my first season and uh, I, I we receive i receive and we receive a lot of message from fans not only from hyderabad that they they were su supporting uh, our team uh, we were very surprised with with this uh with this uh, kind of things because it's not normal no that people from another cities and they say oh my my first team is i don't know kerala blasters but my but my second team is hyderabad and and i i think that we we were like sorry because maybe it sounds arrogant but i think that we were the 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 team who most of the indian people who likes football uh, they were supporting us in 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 the first season so not only the first season still i i i am just agreeing to the fact i am an atk mohan bagan fan not atk mohan the mohan bagan fan but <laughs> my second team is also hyderabad yeah. fc it's pretty clear the yeah. brand of football the way you play football the way they start it's it's all brilliant sir it might yeah. sound a bit flatterous but sir we all look up on the team and how how they play football sir because it's really rare really in indian football when a team keeps the ball play the ball and it, it even looks like some like bit of a foreign european team playing sometimes sir okay. a big tell, big thing tell, for all of us to watch the team tell to your <laughs> tell to your team that don't 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 uh, sign more players from from our team because because fair was listo now as is right and and we miss we miss both of them of course but no now seriously i am i am very happy for both because they are fantastic guys and and now they have the the you know the life of the of a player is not too much long and you have to take advantage of this kind of of chances no so a big thank you for listen kolas and ashish rai sir so <laughs> but we once said you have to adapt to the place where you are in right now so what does adaptation in football means to you and how do you make it happen i think that one mistake that some coaches not in india in in every part of the world they make is that they want that the players have to adapt to you and okay in some moments it's true you have your philosophy you have your your style of 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 play your way of work but you arrive to india is not india arrive to you then you have to know the culture i i can't arrive and say no no now the nutrition will uh, will be this 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 and this then spicy out uh, everything uh, out no it's impossible you have to adapt of course in my opinion the nutrition is not the best uh, for a sport uh, men in or uh, person in in india in if you want to arrive to the to top level but i am nobody to change this kind of things i can change some things some small details no but of course uh, i don't know the the training ground the training grounds are the training grounds uh, the, the, there are very good training grounds and there are very bad training grounds no the other day but, but it's not the fault of northeast is is that you have the the pitch that you have for example the training pitch in 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 guajati was very bad but okay is the pitch that that you have then 
you again, no, you can say, oh, I can train in this pitch. No, no, you have to train in this pitch. Then this is adapt is, is, is about this. It's not only about football, it's about a lot of things. It's about the culture, about the food, about the the I tried when I signed in Hyderabad, I tried to, to know things about the city, about how is the city, about uh, how was the story of, of, of this new club. And uh, when you speak about ADAPT, it's not only about, uh, about football, it's, it's about everything. No? In a dressing room, there are certain players who need to be shouted at and some players who need to be approached in a more calmer way that you have to talk with him by sit with him. So how do you understand the differences in characters and how do you approach that as a communicator and how do you change your approach based on the player? Uh, this is the... When I played this and, and now, it's, we are speaking about 25 years before, this is the thing uh, that changed more in football. No. Uh, 25 years before, when you made a mistake, uh, the, the, the coach was shouting you and, and okay, was, I think that uh, was another moment in the life, no? even, even in education. No? If I remember when I uh, study, when I was studying and uh, the teacher, uh, not shout me, but told me, no, this is a bad, uh, bad thing. Okay, I arrived home and, and I explained to my father or to my parents, uh, today the teacher showed me, blah, blah, blah. And then my, fa my parents say, okay, uh, we are agree with the teacher. Uh, now, even, even in the, so in the uh, society, uh, the, the parents go to the teacher and say, why you are shouting my, my son or this kind of things, no? Then... In football, is exactly the same. Now in football, I, I can tell you that maybe 70% of, of the work of one coach is how to manage the group. Because as you say, you, are, you have to, to train 25, 26, 28 players, everyone different character. As you said, everyone needs different things. And of course, uh, you have to be, I don't know which adjective is not clever, but you have to, to see how every player is. No? For example, one very good thing for me in the bubble is that I could speak with every one of them. And if you ask me uh, one player, I will tell you, uh, where is he from? Uh, how many people live in his house? In, uh, if he if he was uh, poor or he was uh, from good family, uh, these kind of things. I think that the approach, no, the, to, with the with the player is is very 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 important, and and help uh, in your relationship with with him or with them. And then it's more, it's easier, no, in the in the training session because you know him better, no. Then you know if this player maybe he needs to push in some moments. This this player maybe when you shout maybe it's, uh, he he feels that is a stress stress situation for him, and it's true that. But this is in all the countries. But the but the bubble help help me in this case. Uh, in terms of uh, I, I could spend uh, more time with with them and speak a lot with, with my players. And, and this is a reason that uh, I love this country because uh, it's incredible. I say it always that India is like 20 countries in one country, even different languages, uh, even the, they are from... I can't understand, for example, there is one player that he left home with nine years old because he in in his city he couldn't play football and he played football and, and i say but how is possible with nine years old you are a, you are a, a kid it's practically impossible that you leave your family and but this is the life huh? and this is the 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 thing that, that i admire in in 
in a lot of aspects uh, from India, no? As I said, say in India, it's a totally different culture. It's basically when the Santosh Trophy is being played, it's more like a World Cup because 29 states each facing each other. But I have one question, sir. As you said, the bio bubble. There are certain positives about bio bubble, but there are some negatives. That is, there is a mental fatigue, stress, and everything. But Hyderabad FC has accustomed pretty well in the two years when it was played in Goa in empty stadiums. But sir, the COVID is finally finished and. Hyderabad FC now finally move on to their home. The support will really vociferous. We all know because everyone is just pumped up to see their team at the stadium. So, sir, what is the big impact? How did you manage the mental fatigue in the COVID times when there was a bio bubble? Because a lot of players said that the bio bubble was strenuous to be at least. Was was the most difficult uh, situation in my life. Uh... Because uh, even for me, it eh, uh, was very, very difficult. Because the two difference in the in the seasons, in, in, in the bubbles, in the first season, in the bubble, the COVID didn't enter in the middle of the competition. The very strong wave in India was when ISL 7 uh, finished. Then I, I, I arrived, uh, I remember, I, I arrived to, to Barcelona, to my home, and then I, I heard every day, I, I, I don't know how many guys, five, uh, 500,000 cases in, in India every day, wow. it was terrible, it was completely terrible. But in terms of football, it was worst last season, no? because uh, COVID entered in the middle of the competition. Then we were in a hotel just in the beach. I told them after the first uh, experience in ISL 7, I told uh, the, the owner, the board, the director of football, would be, would be good if we are in a hotel close to the beach because if, if, if we can at least, if we can walk uh, mentally, uh, would be very good. Then, uh, okay, they, they tried a very good hotel. They, they cho chose, sorry, they chose a very good uh, hotel. But what happened? That in the middle of the competition, in some moments, there is one game who is cancelled. I don't remember exactly what, which, was, which was the first game. Uh, but then the second day, another. Third game was our game, Janshetpur. Uh, uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad and Shetpur, uh, and then we had doubts. You, even I spoke with with Martin Bain, the the CEO of of ISL. Uh, let's see if we cancel the the league or or we or, or or will be a break because let's see how we solve the situation. And then it's not only that you have to be alone in the bubble; is that you have to be in your room. Then all. Breakfast, uh, lunch, uh, snacks, and uh, dinner alone in your room, everyone. And this was very, very hard, very hard. Uh, I remember perfectly even one of our players, Edu Garcia, left the team for this reason. Uh, was was very, very hard. The ISL, uh, they put uh, two psychologists online for 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 the players uh, in every team uh, and, and was very, very hard. And finally, uh, because even we, I don't know how many time we spend in, in our room waiting. And then in one moment they say, okay, now you can go out, but there is a test every day in the morning, PCR. Okay, you are positive. Stay in the ho in the room. You are negative. Okay, you can go for training session, but after again in your room, not in the hotel, no, in your room, and it was very, very, very hard. And unfortunately for us, the COVID entered in our team just in the finish of the competition. Then, when we had to fight for for try to win the shield uh, against Jan Shetpur, we had 11 players with with COVID, and then 
we we played that game with uh, very young guys and okay you can play a good game but not miracles no not miracles then we lost 3-0 but okay it's not about this it's about uh, if you win or you lose even you don't don't you are not too much focused in football you are m more focused in okay if how i i will spend a lot of time in in, in your room no i is was very 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 hard isl is a 20 match league so there is of, always a lot of emphasis on the results so giving chance to the youth and inculcating or including them in the team sometimes pick up tough but for hyderabad fc it, it hasn't been a problem it's been a breeze so how did you make it possible sir to give so many youth players a chance in the first team and the performance didn't even falter and the team performed way way better with all the young players so how do you include young players in the lineups and adjust them more with the senior level football and how, how do you make it possible because it, the transition is very smooth at hyderabad if you ask me which is your favorite step in in football for example i prefer to train b team than professional team than than uh, than the first team why because b team they are young players with the same target is to arrive to the top level then you know that the training sessions will be uh, will be very good with a high level because all of them they want to arrive then it's difficult that the training sessions don't have uh, quality or don't don't have level no then uh, i repeat when i found this situation uh, in the second game against bfc for me was very normal okay now hitesh you have to play you you can play perfectly you have qualities it's more about the mentality of the guy than about if you are brave or not. Uh, for example, in the ISL 7 was the first train in the first uh, season for Rohit Danu. Rohit Danu in that moment was 18 years old. He played under 19, under 17 in, in, in the national team. Uh, but he played as, an, as a center forward. In ISL, it's very difficult to find one Indian center forward because all the teams, they have one foreigner player. Even our team, we have two, Bartok Becce and Javi Siberio. Then, okay, you have to, to adapt because you are still you are still not in conditions to play as, as a center forward in, in this competition. No, But for sure that Rohit Dano will be one of the best Indian players in, in the future and in the national team, for sure. But uh, it's true, no? Uh, that uh, you need to to develop your your. For example, for me, it's a pleasure to to train these kind of guys because they love football. Even when we we finish the training session, they stay in the pitch alone, improving uh, things that. I don't know, for example, if one player just here, no, that is left, 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 left footer. Then when we finish the training session, he, he stay alone only with the right foot. Okay, then is a maybe is a thing that you have to do when you are a kid, but if you don't have you didn't have the possibility, then you have to, to do now, no? But for me, the the age is not a problem if, if one young guy uh, if if the performance of one young guy is better than than one older i, I will i will put in uh, the, the young guy uh, he, and, and 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 i will speak with the with the oldest guy no because he need and he needs and and and, and uh, he deserve one explanation but the thing is about if they are pushing in the training sessions, I repeat, the training session will have more level. And if the training session has more level, finally, the team is the the benefit is for is for the team. No. So, sir, the final question will be: What advice will you give to all the aspiring coaches around the world? I don't know if I am the correct person to to give advice. No. The only thing that I can do is uh, is is 
Uh, I started to train when I was 20. I, I trained a team of a team of kids of 10 years of 10 years old in that moment. And for, till now I am 54, only one year because the first year uh, with COVID in the beginning of 2020 before Hyderabad is the only year that I didn't train. Why I tell you this kind of things? Because more or less I train in under in, in every in every category of, of of youth under 13, under 15, uh, youth team, then in, in, in regional categories, in, in third division, in second B, in, in all cat abroad. The thing is, maybe the, the when we start to train, we are thinking, and it's normal, okay, I want to arrive to the top level, I want to arrive to the top level, but sometimes you can, sometimes you can't, because it's very difficult, no? And then, the most important thing for me is passion. One, passion. And second, uh, for me, the more uh, the thing that I am more satisfied is my relationship with the players that, that now uh, I, I am not with them. No? For example, uh, okay, I know it sounds arrogant, but some players that they are now in top level and some and some players that they are now in they even they left football but you have to you if you can continue the the if you can keep the the relationship with with them is is fantastic no i think that this is more than one title in my opinion then you have to put passion and you you have to know that it's impossible to win every game the most important thing is to try to improve your player, try to improve yourself before with every, I don't know, with conference, with uh, watching videos about how the other coaches train, uh, depend of the category, it's not the same to train in, with kids that, that train in, in, in uh, professional players or, or players with more than 20 years old but not professionals. Uh, I think that the most important thing is the passion in not only in football, eh? in every job, but uh, in football especially, you know, that we are speaking about this. So, captains, that was all for today. We need to end our session here. So, thanks, Mr. Manolo Marquez, for being with us today. To all of our viewers, thanks a lot for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such content like this. So, until then, it's goodbye from our band.